at Merritt Health Medical Group. Our mission is to provide high quality health care in a convenient hometown location. Our team of primary and specialty care providers is here to take care of your family's immediate medical needs. With over 30 clinics and numerous specialties in Central Mississippi, we're here to help you live a happier, healthier life. Merritt Health Medical Group. Good health is just around the corner. Hello, Jags. I'm Mary Hawkins Butler, and I am honored to be your mayor. I'm your biggest fan. Not only do you compete athletically, but also academically. Oh, we are so proud of you. You compete locally, you compete regionally, and nationally. We know that the time is now. You can make your mark. Go out and get it. Nothing is impossible. We are behind you and we love you. Get that great Mack Hike feeling. One stop shopping at Mack Hike Madison. Compare the two best trucks in the market. Ram 1500 or Chevrolet Silverado 1500. SUVs like a new Tahoe, Traverse, or Equinox versus Durango, Grand Cherokee, or Cherokee. Let's have fun with Wrangler, Gladiator, Charger, Challenger, or Camaro. Shop one location just off I-55 exit 112 Buckstead Road or on the web at MackHikeMedicine.com. You want a deal? Come get one. Integrity and excellence. Kincaid's Fine Clothing, Old Town Square, Ridgeland. Welcome to the Coach Anthony Hart Show, brought to you by our friends at Kincaid's Fine Clothing. I'm Bob Sullender, along with the coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, Coach Anthony Hart. Coach, uh, thanks for being with us again today. Thank you for having me. Wow, big win. Madison Central 15, Startville 9, the number one team in the state of Mississippi, comes to the jungle and goes down. Madison Central 4-0 and at home. Uh, just a just a huge win for the program, especially during this crazy, crazy year. Yes, it was. You know, and, you know, we went into the ball game, you know, with a, a plan that, that we thought we needed to do to be successful, and it, it, it panned out for us. You know, it doesn't do that every time, but, but this time, you know, we had some thoughts on some things that we had to do to, to – to be able to, to beat Startville and, and they worked out for us. Uh, defensively, uh, Startville coming in a averaged 35 points a game on the offensive side of the ball and then Jags defense, just really a lot of pressures. Uh, uh, you know, Crick Robertson led the team in 10 tackles, but I think it was, uh, you know, the Jag uh, front four that was really in the backfield along with the linebackers the entire game and really kept uh, Luke Altmeyer off his game when it comes to the, for, for the Startville quarterback. You know, our defensive staff did a great job prepping for Startville, and they were able to get pressure with three, and, you know, sometimes he sent four and, you know, mixed up coverages because Altmaier's a, a great player, and, you know, and he, he he's good at what he does. And I think um, I think we might have confused him a little bit at times and with, with pressure and being able to cover also. Of course, uh, Vic Hollins, eight tackles. Josiah Perry with eight tackles and two sacks as well. Quintavious Hogan seemed to be in the backfield the whole game and just really gave the quarterback for Starville a lot of problems. And, you know, special teams was really big. Well, what a, what a big play by Jackson Mines and a big kickoff return. Yeah, yeah, it came at that time we got behind and, and had to have a play, had to have a score. And, you know, he he returns to their side of the field. So, you know, that short field was very, very beneficial to us at that time. When we come back, we'll talk about what happened on the offensive side of the ball uh, in the victory over the number one team in the state, Madison Central, 15, Startville, 9. We'll be back right here on the Madison Central Football Network, Super Talk Mississippi, 97.3 FM. I'm so excited about your job promotion. Remember our first time ever celebrating at Lost Pizza? I think it was our prom. Are you even listening to me? 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 Sorry, I got lost. <laughs> to get lost with our fresh savory ingredients. Get lost with Lost Pizza. You want to bring the heat? Prove it. With carbs to help fuel muscles. And electrolytes to help replace what you lose in sweat.
Study, tested, proven. Nothing beats Gatorade. The Patty Peck Honda Do Dot Day New Car Giveaway. Get tickets now. It's your chance to turn this year around from the driver's seat of a brand spanking new 2020 Honda HRV. Ten ticket holders win a key. And on November 13th, one of those keys starts the engine for a chance to drive a new 2020 Honda HRV away. Buy your tickets today. Text good luck to 41444. Best of all, the new car giveaway benefits Friends of Children's Hospital. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day, Georgia blue. It's like a home cooked meal. How mama makes you feel, that's what we do. Oh, yeah. The time is now to make memories with all your friends. I will be living for you, so y'all come on in. This family around here, it's Georgia blue. Welcome back to the Coach Anthony Hart Show, brought to you by our friends at Kincaid's Fine Clothing, Bob Sullender, along with the coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, uh, Coach Anthony Hart. Uh, coach, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, Madison Central 15, start with nine, a great win for the program. And on the offensive side of the ball, I, I personally think that uh, that sophomore Vic Sutton uh, came, came, came of age, so to speak. Uh, he really took control of the game, definitely in the second half. Six passes for 82 yards, one touchdown. and uh, But he was able to really kind of uh, – you know, run that uh, run past RPO, RPO offense, uh, 46 rushing yards and a touchdown on the ground. It just seems like he was like, okay, this is this is my this is my my offense to run. Yeah, he he did. We felt like he grew up a lot in the second half. But you know what happened in the first half? You know, first drive, he had to put his head down and take a take a pretty good lick. And after that, it just it didn't bother him anymore. And he was able to, I think, relax and play. And you know, that was the. My concern with him, we almost didn't start him just to get him, let him stand over and breathe a little bit before the game started. But we decided to run him on out there and get going, and you know he responded well. And generally, when the quarterback plays well, he's got a lot of help around him as he well. Does. So there's 11 people on that offensive side of the ball. Jackson Mize led the team with 104 rushing yards on 12 carries. Duke Arnold playing both ways on offense and defense came in up with 50 rushing yards on the ground as well. Uh, Creek Robertson uh, with with some uh, good receptions and Blake Gunner and I, I think the, the really the the tell of the tell at halftime Baxter Strain and I talked about at halftime you know what does the Jags need to do to kind of convert this to a win and the main thing we said was you know uh, uh, Vic really needs to uh, to get the passing game going with some of these receivers and that kind of allowed the running game to really take off. Yeah, you know you know we dominated up front we didn't th we didn't know coming in the ball game we were able, able to do that. But after the first drive or two, we were able to, to, to create seams and, and, and do a good job getting a hat on a hat and moving the, actually moving the line of scrimmage. And, and, you know, in the fourth quarter, I think they'd had enough up there. The Jags now 2-1 and one in region play, head to South Panola, Germantown on the, on the schedule after that, um, and then, of course, to uh, Greenville as well. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk about a matchup uh, on the road to South Panola. It never gets easy in this region of 6A football right here after this timeout on the Madison Central Football Network, Super Talk Mississippi, 97.3 FM. Tomorrow, it can only be better with Wendy's breakfast. A tomorrow that says bacon, not bacon. Where fresh eggs rain like opportunity. Goodness is spread. And the frosty is chinoed. Here we do not ask what tomorrow will hold, but rather, what will you hold tomorrow? With all this, tomorrow's looking good. Tomorrow also available today. So you've injured your shoulder or your knee? And of course you want the best care and the best doctor available. The doctor on the left treats shoulders and knees and ankles and hands, while the Mississippi sports medicine doctor on the right specializes in one body area and one area only treating thousands of patients a year. Trust your medical care to one of our true specialists. Mississippi Sports Medicine, we specialize for you. With the My Trustmark mobile app, no matter where you happen to find yourself, there's a world of opportunity. Check your balances from a friend's house. Deposit checks with a smartphone or tablet from the back porch. Or send payments with email or text during a family get together. Live your life more freely. Make my trust mark your trust mark. 
Get started at Trustmark.com. You made a promise to work, to lend a hand, to push, to build, to invest yourself, to make a difference. You made a promise, and so did we. To Mississippi, to each other. Bank Plus, it's more than a name, it's a promise. Welcome back to the Coach Anthony Hart Show, brought to you by our friends at Kincaid's Fine Clothing. I'm Bob Sutherland, along with the coach of the Madison Central Jaguars, Coach Anthony Hart. Uh, coach, it never gets easy in this region. Heading to Batesville in Panola County to face South Panola. Uh, the South Panola Tigers coming to the game with a record of four and two, and one and two in region play. And you know, when you have two losses in this region, uh, you know they're fighting for their life when it comes to playoffs. And so this is going to be a big game on the schedule. Oh yeah, you know, in our region, a couple of losses is kind of usual, I guess. And um, you know, they're like everybody else. We're just fighting to get a win here and there to just try to get in the playoffs because. You know, we put our region up with anybody, and we just feel like you get in the playoffs, you got a shot in our region. Tigers have been a run offense first throughout the years, averaging 200, 229 yards this year on the ground. Uh, you know, after facing a pass-heavy start with offense last week, how does the defense kind of kind of shift a little bit for this ball game? No, they'll be ready. They'll they'll be ready. That you know, we've worked hard this week getting prepared for South Panola, and you know, you know, it's equal equal every week. You know, as far as prep. For um, run and pass stuff, you know, you you just have to be ready for anything they're going to do. South Panola coming off an open week, so it, it's the third week in a row that that's happened yep. to the Jags. It seems like everybody gets an extra week to uh, to prepare for Madison Central, uh, uh, you know, actually the fifth time this season. So that's kind of the old hat. They have a little bit more time than you. But uh, um, uh, how does that change things when you come preparation for your coaching staff? Well, it doesn't help us. You know, we're preparing one week at a time for each team. Starkville had two weeks on us. Clinton had two weeks on us. Um, Warren Central had two weeks on us, and we just, we're the only team in the region that has not had an open week. And we're okay with that. That's what we intended. We intended this year to play every time we could play because you never know what's going to happen. You can start while sitting there, shut down for two weeks. So we just, we want to play every time we can play on a Friday night because you never know when something may happen. Coach, thanks for being with us to, tonight, and uh, good luck. Thank you. All right, uh, when we return to the field, South Panola. Uh, from Batesville, right here on the Madison Central Football Network, Super Talk Mississippi 97.3 FM. In Madison, see your good neighbor State Farm agent Rodney Stokes for your insurance and financial needs. It's game day. All you should be worried about is the score because we've got the food covered with fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. You just checked your balance, paid bills online, deposited a check with your phone, and transferred money to a friend. It's that easy when you make my Trustmark your Trustmark. Get started at Trustmark.com. Professional Eye Care Associates has a large variety of designer eyewear for all your needs. Whether it's bifocals, specialty lenses for sports and hunting, or help with long hours of computer work, we can take care of you. If you prefer contact lenses, our professionals will guide you to ensure your best vision and optimal comfort through the variety of premium contact lens options available in our office. Call Professional Eye Care Associates to schedule an appointment to improve your vision today. Five locations to serve you. Brandon, Canton, Madison, Ridgeland, and Yazoo City. Wing stop. Yep. Tonight, get your lemon pepper buttery fix. Or make it a sweet and spicy Korean cure fare. Or kick things up with a hint of mango habanero heat. Classic or boneless wings. Who made all the boneless? You did. Sounds like me. Get flavor delivered to your door today at wingstop.com. 